Right here we got some uh, mighty classic machines, 1970 Articat Panther, along with the uh, cat cutter matching pair. We're going to see if we make it to the trail. We've already, I fell out once and this fell off once. So I figure we turn the cameras on. We're going to see if we can make it yep, to the trail. We, we almost left Ben jamming behind. And these are only for in case of emergency because we may very well end up on the side of the trail. was telling me that these handles on here were only on a certain certain couple of years and oh my gosh I don't know how the heck I would be sitting in this thing or staying in this thing without them I actually didn't fall out I jumped out when we were crossing a busy road because it didn't seem like we were gonna make it all the way I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but these old sleds don't have a track like a new sled does they just have like a basically a big belt that runs around and they've got metal cleats that are attached to them and that's all they had for traction but I gotta say this thing though man this is a comfy way to get around oh. <laughs> this thing stays like surprisingly stable even over the jumps like that whoa, whoa. <laughs> make it look at that there we are hit the trails on time <laughs> on the trail he was telling me that the windshield on both of these machines has got to be at least a original manufacturer product rather than a remake because this is the kind of light blue and he said the the remanufactured ones are a darker blue and the one on there is uh it's some kind of gold color it's just a real real light hint of it and the remanufactured version of that would be kind of like a more of a yellow color they definitely are two nice nice pieces of 70s machinery it's really kind of a cool cool setup that he's got i'm surprised how comfy this thing is to sit back and relax and i don't even need to hang on anymore you take a nap back here. Oh. oh, that doesn't look good. Uh oh. Look at that the chain case fluid? Huh? Is that from the chain case? Yeah, that little bit of red, that was always lighter. No. Oh. I think we'll get it. Yeah? I think so. Because what's going on? It's just, it's it's running too hot or what? No, she just don't want to go. Oh. Because what's what's this about? That's just just oil burning off from something? No, I think it's throwing a shit ton of gas or something. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh! She's tanking away! <laughs> She's ready to go, she's ready to go. Is that any faster? I can't tell. I think it might be. louder anyway <laughs> I asked him after he got this thing if these were actually still legal or not and I think they must be I mean I don't know that anything like this ever really does anything other than get grandfathered into new laws and I think they still make new versions of these things uh oh what is he messing with up there throttle adjustment all right we'll take a pit stop Time for a new plug? Let's, we'll look at the plugs. Good thing we got the professional here. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate. What do you think? Perfect, perfect right? A little warm though, eh? 
Yeah, they're toasty. <laughs> they look good. I think so. Yeah, you got your gloves on. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what you're looking for, right? I think so. Do you want, you're doing new ones? Oh, I dropped that one, so. <laughs> yeah, but do, you, do you want this one back in or no? I'll just put two new ones in. Okay. <laughs> just want this in the bottom, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, better put the, the wires back on the sparkulators. Yeah, that'll help. Hey, you got to make sure you tell them to, to like the Rothschild Urban Area Snowmobile Club. You're a big advocate for that group, huh? Yep, yep. We well, personally know the president, so. Yeah, President Brian J. <laughs> seating position. <laughs> uh oh. Seems like that's all she's got. Oh, maybe not. Woo! Boy, this thing just makes your whole body vibrate. You can feel it in your chest. It's kind of a cool sound. I wonder if anybody working on this machine back in the 70s ever thought there'd be two goofballs riding around on it in 2023 with cameras attached to their helmets and a 360 degree camera on the back rack. Pretty funny. wonder how fast this thing goes on its own. That's pretty much all she's got. the snappy takeoff power of the new sleds but she sure is a nice machine I like this thing he's telling me I gotta buy a vintage sled I gotta buy something into the woods we go <laughs> I didn't even mention our vintage snowsuits that we've got here. I didn't think this would be warm enough for a day like today, and I guess maybe the heat coming off of the hood, it definitely is warm enough. You can look right into the motor cavity there. Engine compartment, motor cavity, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, nice day for a good cat cutter ride. It's amazing how far snowmobiles have come since 1970, and uh, you gotta wonder in, you know, a hundred more years, uh, what are they going to be like? Or even even 20 more years, what are they going to be like? Will it be all electric? Have you guys seen that new new Atlas? What is that? I think it's Atlas. Woo! By Taiga Motors. Interesting looking machine. Definitely doesn't have the exhaust note that this thing does, though, that's for sure. I don't know why this is so much fun, but it sure is. aren't exactly well <laughs> what why is it still on how do you turn it off the key the key yeah it's in the off position yeah. oh there we go she just wanted to keep going huh oh man that thing is a blast to ride yeah is it running better or i can't same? really tell I, I think maybe it's it it like seems like it doesn't want to go, but then you like put it past a certain point and then it just takes off. Huh. So I don't know. There's like a little bit of a low end bog to it. Yeah. I wonder if it's because we're pulling that. Yeah. I mean, I probably, I mean, that's a lot, of, a lot yeah. of stress on it, I think. I rode it around without that on there and it was good this morning. Yeah. But. Yeah. I'm sure it's just the extra weight. I mean, and it's, it's carrying that plus whatever you are, 160 pounds, 170 pounds. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of... Like, even just to pull that thing across the road, that was <laughs> kind of hard to do. Right. 
quite the machine. I think it's pretty cool. You think it's gonna make it farther? She's something good now. Doesn't sound good. Smells a little warm. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Shit. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Just a little warm or what? I don't know. Doesn't smell warm. Uh, yeah, that looks a little white. Oh yeah. I got new ones that can try it. Right. Well, I don't mean that it's fall though. I mean like, I mean it's running too too lean. I think so. That would make sense because we did. That I don't. There's two screws. I don't know what the. Fuck. <laughs> Just turn and shit out. Huh? <laughs> Where the hell's the rip cord? Holy man! Way in camera oh she's taking off
much fun to be out here on something this old I don't know it's just so cool and it's like I don't know kind of cooler than just like an old car or something I, I don't know just because it's like a recreational vehicle or something I don't know it's just super neat this is such a blast I'm so glad he wanted to do this Whoop, oh. oh yeah a little sliding action it sounds like it's got a turbo spooling up in there or something I feel like I can almost picture somebody cruising around on this back in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, the 2000s, 2010s. Pretty cool. It's running good now. Probably shouldn't have said that. Now this is the, the not so fun part. We're going for it. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't think you could have enjoyed it nearly as much as I did making it. This is just such a blast to be on this awesome machine and that cool cat cutter pulled behind it. it uh, it's just such a fun day. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Stay swanky. Get out and enjoy this beautiful world. No matter what kind of machine you've got in the garage, get something and get out here. Doesn't matter what it is. Who cares what the brand name is on it? It's just good to be out here, especially with your good buddy. My cheeks hurt from smiling. <laughs>